Hello, hello, and we're... Welcome back to Mobile Legends European Championships. We do apologize for the slight issues that we are having for today. Yeah, we're very sorry for that, but don't worry, the show is must go... No, no, I'm sorry. The show it will go on. Forgive us where we're going. Yeah, please forgive us, you know, because <laughs> we are trying our best, but for some reason, everything is not cooperating. So hopefully this time everything is gonna go well and yeah, we are actually ready now in game. Are you ready now for our actual game this time? Let's go, let's do it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Can you check if we're actually live? <laughs> yeah, at least we are live now. <laughs> we're live now, it's running. Okay, that that's Yay. some that's some good news at least. <laughs> yes. So we are actually going now to the actual game, right, Lord Joshi? Mm -hmm. I think they're just all heated up to start the game. Yeah, everyone is looking forward to see it, but you know, sometimes stuff do happen and we're sorry, but we're gonna go now to actual game number one. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. And now for the side here. Now we're oh. asking for a pause. Okay. Okay. So first, before we do our actual game, now that our players are asking for a pause, let's talk about our current brackets. As and as you can see here in your screen, look at that, Lodi Joshi. Group A has Bedell, Invictus Gaming, Unique Synergy, and Lost Avex here. Yeah. Very, very solid teams and the first day of MEC. We're all excited to see those matches, aren't we? I feel like everyone is so excited that they're, you know. <laughs> so Lodi, looking at the screen right now, who do you think is the toughest bracket? Is it going to be A, B, C or D? You know what, to be honest, all these um, 16 teams, they're really good. Um, I know most of them. Um, I think uh, uh, the ones that show good promise for me right now, of course, is um, first of all, is Shanghai. I've seen them and I'm like, I'm quite impressed. I'm also impressed with, of course, uh, Carpe Noctem as always and lost avex low so those three are, are kind of promising for me so we'll see let's we'll see where they where, how far they can go in this uh, bracket mm, and obviously you cannot forget about our reigning champion this boat and okay. obviously yeah yeah of course that's already given, you know that's why i left them now <laughs> <Bedell. laughs> i left them yeah actually you know you know me i like you know i like to look at the underdogs <coughs> excuse me and you know i like to see fresh teams and fresh names you know because that's always what gets me excited to watch these tournaments mm -hmm. i mean so hopefully our teams are ready now finally and we're actually going to be starting the game right now so now for the side here off you know for the side here of Bedell, we have Drace for this Atlas, TNTK for this Bruno, Yumi for this Changu, Sephora for this. I forgot his name, I'm so sorry. And Alien Cecilia? for this Jawhead. Yeah, Cecilia. Yeah, uh, and then for Invictus, of course, we have Bai playing Esmeralda. We have Zach, if I pronounced it correctly, for Lolita, and then Danger using Chao and Pedro with Farsa and I don't know how to pronounce his name but I will try my best uh, person playing Ling is Ayushta yeah I hope I got that right and so as you, you can, can see, see there now. was an early invade coming here from the Dell TNTK already has a red buff but at the same time look at bye bye baby here oh the Atlas able to get two people in a stun there but seems like they're just gonna go back away right now I think they're just trying to zone out so they can invade in peace. Yeah, but as you can see, Bruno wants to red buff right now and he is gonna get it. But 
there might be an early rotation coming from the side here of Aichi because they're eyeing out on a Chang'u in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna be able to punish her or no? No, Chang'u got away safely. I mean, uh -oh, look at look. Esmeralda now, though. Bye bye, baby. Might be in trouble, but look at the shield. She says, nerf me, but I'm still gonna be unkillable. <laughs> That's true, especially, you know, if someone like Bye Bye Baby is gonna use her, you know, nerf doesn't actually matter. <laughs> but at the same time, as you can see, no early kills just yet. Seems like they're gonna go for the Yumi in the bottom lane, and she's a gonna. Now I think, are they going to look for a gank? I'm not sure. It looks like it because Sicilian is coming, but then he's backing away. I think they're going to focus on farming first, but Farsa, I think is... No, they're just taking care of their lanes for now. Yeah, obviously. I mean, that is one kill going for the, for the side here off the link. Something on his bank, but... Right now, the gold differential is not yet too bad. It's, I mean, it's only one kill at the end of the day. But at the same time, bye bye, baby, forcing out the flicker here against Jawhead. Mm -hmm. I see. You can see that Farsa has really good wave clear as well with the second skill. Yeah, but lo oh, look at Bye Bye Baby just waiting for the buff here. But at the same time, they do realize that the Atlas and is now low. Gonna... Bye Bye is in. But unfortunately, no follow up. She's now immobilized by the Sicilian. What is going to happen now? It seems like they're just going to be backing off at this time. She's safe. She's safe. She's safe for now. And mm -hmm. we're all safe for now. So, I mean, as you can see, both of the teams are actually playing super, super safe. I feel like no one really wants to overextend. They're just looking to clear out the wave, farm as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So the Bruno and the Ling is going to be able to do massive amounts of damage. But it seems like Giant but goes in see, with unstoppable Esmeralda force. Esmeralda is going to go in. Yeah. Esmeralda is going to try to steal the turtle, but we'll see. What do you think is going to get the turtle? Oh, the turtle! Wow, the look at that fantastic at that. fatal links from the Atlas! <laughs> but at the same time, they're getting slowly punished by the Ling and the backline. That is one, that is and two, and that is three. Lava. Going in favor for the side here of IG. Maybe they want more. Oh, bye bye, babies! Get oh, shut down! Bye. I mean,. That was a very good team fight for both of the teams. I mean, for some reason, it looks like it was going to be a clean wipe the moment that Dre's was able to manage to do a four-man Fatal Links there. But at the same time, you know, the damage and the pressure coming from the Ling is just way too much for them to handle. So both teams have lost one turret each. Um, yes. And now I think they will probably force mid lane unless Atlas gets a nice Set. Yeah, I mean, he's looking for it right now, but he realizes that the damage dealers are not really in position. So they're just going to be backing off playing safe again. And as you can see, both the teams are playing very, very well for now. There's really not much of a gold difference here. Uh huh. Very neck to neck in terms of the gold difference. Yeah, I, I feel like it's gonna go down to the wire here. But at the uh -oh. same time, you know, when it comes to the mid game spike here, Joshi, who do you think has the better advantage? Because right now, both teams are playing the same, but seems like IG is slightly getting a lead now here. Mm -hmm. I think because um, they have early game heroes, you have Ling who can immediately back up and then. But. Soon. You know, but again, they can all it can all turn around once Atlas can be able to get everyone and then Chang E would just melt them. That's gonna be that's gonna be the turnaround, I think. Mm-hmm. And it seems like the meteor shower hits nothing but germs right now. So be safe with Corona. But look at that. Pedro! 
Now with the Fetter Airstrike, not okay. able to secure the buff, but at the same time, Luminum Blast connected to two people in the back line. That is another kill going for IG. Make it two, says the Farsa. They're looking for more here okay. because they can. You might have the Lord, but that's in, in exchange. That's two people. Mm hmm. And you, you kind of want to commend TNT here. The TNTK here, he always managed to secure the turtle every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though he doesn't yeah. really have any retribution. But Meteor Shower, they're still gonna get this turret because Pedro zoning the Chang'u out. I think they're also gonna get top lane. Uh, the second third? No, Jawhead's there already. So, I mean, you know, we do know that the the side here of Bedell has Sicilian, so they do have very, very heavy hitters when it comes to the late game. But it seems like yeah. every single clash, they're being punished by the sling. I mean, Zagsh is mm -hmm. in trouble now with the Lita, but she is gonna be able to escape here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we can see that the Sicilian and the Chang O are struggling with just the consumption of their mana. You know, I think that's putting them at a disadvantage here. Yeah, so slightly ahead now from the side here of IG, that Ling is gonna be a monster soon. Look at that, 403. They managed to find out the Ling. Bruno is forcing them out now, but at the same time, bye bye baby. In the back line, gonna be punished. She is gonna fall down here, unfortunately. Okay. He tried his best. Yeah, I mean, as long as you try, maybe it's okay, but sometimes you kind of want to see the results also. And Pedro okay. doing a fantastic job, job zoning out every single person coming from Bedell here. True, that's true. I mean, what are your thoughts, uh, Lodi Joshi? Especially that you're one of the best Farsa players right now. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even <laughs> call myself that. Um, yeah, you know, what really helped me is I also watched... Um, these players and how they 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 rotate with Barsta and all that. And it's more what's really important in her gameplay is that you just zone out the damage dealer. That's the mm -hmm. best you can do. And you know what I notice is that every single time the leader actually is gonna be shunk out a lot, but Ling! Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, he Ling is in trouble, get... but he gets two kills in the process. Maybe three. Mm -hmm. three. Wow, and a fourth I'm one. Go for Maniac. Wow, IG is here to prove to everyone that even though the squad might not exist anymore, they're still one of the best squad in the Europe region. Mm -hmm. They still they still have the same synergy. Yeah, I mean, obviously Pedro and Bye Bye Baby is now in rain, but regardless, you know, they're beating Bedell really, really clean because this Ling is an unstoppable monster. Exactly. And it's, you know, it's kind of weird because Ling was last pick. Mm -hmm. I feel like Bedell didn't even notice that Ling was open. Maybe they, they, they made the diversion by banning someone so that Bedell would think that they would also use this certain hero. You know, maybe they're trying to feed Bidal, a different kind of impression that the reason why they banned this so you know they wouldn't think of Ling and I think that's where they they got them mm -hmm. I mean look at that shield from the Esmeralda but at the same time Yumi falling down again in the bottom lane against this Chow so I mean you know even with the gold differential which is around 6, 7k now, Lodi Joshi. Do you think that uh -huh. Bedell has a chance to get a comeback here? Because it seems like it's going, the game is going away from their hands already. I mean, if, um, if Sicilian can, and Sicilian and, um, Bruno can have one more item each, I think that would, you know, at least give them leverage to have an epic comeback. But, but I don't know. You know, and we don't know if they're but IG is gonna let them farm or gonna let them have gold. That's the thing. I mean, I feel like 
that is out of their vocabulary right now because they just secured a lord and it seems like you know zash here being punished a little bit again but cha cha chow chicken do shenpo kicking atlas for no reason wow oh bye bye baby being punished she's shut down mm -hmm. and this might be something that bedell is looking for a mistake coming from ig right mm -hmm. now Now they have to take care of the Lord. Yeah, I feel like they got this Lord clear really, really clean. Because right now, oh, Farsa being punished right there. See, I feel like the, the Lolita is not really performing the bestest. I feel like every single, uh, before even a clash starts, her HP is already gone. So I feel like Zash should play a little bit on the safer side here and make sure that she lands those Numinum blasts. True. They're safe oh. for now, but I think Atlas is a. Yeah. What was that? I feel like that was a slight miscommunication from the part of mm -hmm. Bedell because I feel like Atlas should have realized that a and lot of the years. But there. Whoa! Link is gonna go in! Look yeah. at that monster! Now they're all inside the enemy base. Mm hmm They're not even scared right now. Because the bye-bye baby Ethnic just goes in. in. I mean, I feel like the bye-bye baby is just a distraction. You know, she just ults in mm -hmm. and suddenly, boom, boom, out of nowhere, there's a lane Everyone flying to you in a yeah. quick second. Is it finished? It is finished. Yes, it is. And that's it. Game number one here goes for the side of Bedell. I mean, not Bedell. IG, Invictus Gaming. <laughs> so you know for this game what do you think went wrong here Lodi? i just think that the Dell was out drafted um because of course you have the farsa zoning out you have the lolita to have the cc and then of course there's ling who's just gonna jump in all the time and you can clearly see like even in ganks the invictus gaming the all of them, they're, they're giving the kills to Ling. They're not even trying to take it for themselves. So I think that's one of the good moves um, that they did here. Yeah, really, really well because played from 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 the Ling there. I mean, there was one time where he got the Maniac. I was like, is he going to die now here? But, you know, he knows exactly how much damage he could take. And I was so surprised he did not die. Even get even managed to secure a Maniac on their side. So really 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 well done for the side here of invictus gaming sure i mean the question now stands lodi joshi what could mm -hmm. bedell done differently in that game um to be honest it was like just being out drafted you really it was it's even hard because i cannot even come up with something like another rotation or you know i think um they couldn't punish the bot lane where Chang Yi's lane is because, of course, Ling is just so fast in going there. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think that Jawhead wasn't able to. Of course, it, it's hard to go up against Esmeralda using Jawhead. Definitely. Um, yeah. I mean, Esme, yeah. even though you nerf her, I mean, she's just really, really annoying. The shield, mm -hmm. the sustain. I mean, she has mana problems if she doesn't have the book or the boots yet. But at the same mm -hmm. time, the pressure that you get from her in the lane is just insane. And I feel like the Farsa played really, really amazing. Props to Pedro there because he was able to zone out the Bruno and the Changu every single time. Exactly, I agree. So I think now they're go they're going to contemplate on mm -hmm. what happened, and I think um, I don't know. We'll see. I I think they're still gonna do target bans for sure, but maybe they'll be more aware of removing Ling from mm -hmm. the possibility. That's so true. I, I did not even realize Ling was open. To be honest. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that Invictus is not gonna give Ling anymore time, so, yeah. <laughs> so we'll yeah but see. our teams are ready lodi are you ready for our mm -hmm. game number two ready are you really ready <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm I mean, I'm not excited. ready. I just need a little breather. But once again, thank you so much for staying with us here. We do apologize for the slight issues that we had at the start of the stream. But rest assured, you know, it's going to be okay now, right? Right? Hopefully, no more issues. Yes, hopefully. Because, you know, we do want the best for our regions also. And, you know, sometimes stuff do happen. And Are you ready? I feel like everyone is just waiting for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Comment section is being flooded of excitement. So I think we should start the game. Okay, okay, fine. We're just going to go <laughs> start the game. Game number three is now up here, boys and girls. So as you can see, Yuzong is still being permanently banned here because that's too stain. I mean, even though he's, he's been nerfed a little bit here, it's just he's just too much to handle. And he has so many combos such as adding an Angela mm -hmm. there. It's just mm -hmm. way, way too much. I mean, it's 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 not just annoying, but it's just it's frustrating if you put Yuzong in the enemy team. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, Ling now finally being banned by the side of obviously Badal. <coughs> Who do you think they're going to ban next? I feel like for now, it's gonna be a first pick Esmeralda for Invictus Gaming. And probably the ban here can be the Uranus once again because if I'm not mistaken, Bedell really likes playing that hero. And it's gonna be problematic for IG if that hero is open. But it seems like they're gonna ban out the Farsla this time. Mm -hmm. Just so that because they might use it to their advantage. So just take her out. Mm hmm. I mean, the final ban here, who do you think it will be this time, Lovey Joshi? Because I have I the inkling think... feeling. Go on. I think it should be either Atlas or Louis. Oh, it's gonna oh. be an Italia. Wow. That was unexpected. Mm hmm. I did not expect that one also. But now, that is a free Esmeralda, a Louis, or an Atlas. Which one exactly. would you pick? There's also um, Claude and Kaja are up in okay, of course. Wow! You know, it's really so interesting for me to see Lunox was banned the first game and now it's first pick here. I mean, probably gonna give it to Pedro, Pedro here. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, is she really, really worth that first pick? I mean, sometimes if you think about it, it's either the meta or the comfort picks. Mm -hmm. and now they took um, Atlas and Louie, which is, I think, is a bad combination, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Bad but... combination for IG, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah. I think um, Uranus is a good counter to sustain and pressure lanes. That's so true. I mean... The Chao here really, really being picked so early. I feel like that is a comfort pick now here because normally you would see the fighter being chosen as a Jawhead, even Thomas, like Defender. But at the same time, for uh, Badel here, maybe, just maybe, uh, what do you call this? I mean, who do you expect to be picked now here, Lodi? I think Esmeralda would be a good choice here uh, against them. Um, first. Okay. Your team is back. They go. They, they went with Bruno. Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, the the side here of Bedell really, really lags here, Bruno. It didn't work the last time, but they're saying it's gonna work this time. We're sure about it. True. So for the best here, I'm kind of expecting a tank ban right now. Maybe a Kufra, a Lolita, even. But it seems like it's gonna be a Roger ban this time. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that one, Lodi? Yeah. Because Roger would be the best um, candidate to end Bruno and Louis uh, in, a, in, a, in a swift. 
So I think that was a good ban. See, you know, that was what I was wondering about. Pick Chow over Esmeralda when Bye Bye Baby played it so well. What is the reason about that one? So it. Because as you can see, Ling is. Uh, Lilia? Interesting. I mean, it's a good combo one, but actually, I've seen Lilia, Loi, and Atlas being played together by Onik in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, that combo is really, really hard to execute because if you don't win the early game clashes, you're gonna be so immobile. Because now, mm -hmm. the side here from Victus Gaming has the Lancelot and the Kaya in their arsenal. So it's gonna be really, really hard. I mean, you actually just need top-notch position from Drace here in Sephora with those heroes. True, true, I agree. What I'm excited about is the Lilia. So I, I, that was, that took me by surprise. But I think uh, maybe it's to slow down the gank. Mm -hmm. And then so that so when Lilia slows everyone, and then maybe Luyi does her trick, the pulling the pulling CC and then maybe Atlas goes in, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see how they're gonna play out. Yeah, I mean to be honest, looking at the composition of Badal, there is a lot of combo wumble here. But at the same mm -hmm. time, you know, if it does not work out in the early game, just like what I said, it's gonna be really, really hard for them. But at the same time, they mm -hmm. do have a lot of early game damage. They have Jawhead, Dilia, the the Luigi even. So mm -hmm. Early game really does go for them, but Lodi Joshi, who do you think has the better draft now? I think both drafts are balanced, if you ask me, because Bedel has Atlas and Lui, which again, I, I, which I said earlier, it's a really good com a combo for gank. And, but then you also have Kaja, and then of course you've given Pedro his Lunox, his the favorite Lunox. Lunox. So, <laughs> so, yeah. First pick um, Lunox. Mm -hmm. Would we ever were, first pick a Lunox? I don't think we would ever first pick Lunox in a rank games. <laughs> Maybe only I don't know. <laughs> Never. <Not ideal. laughs> Never. We haven't done that. But we'll see yeah. because because obviously these are target bands for both teams. And mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay, so you have four from Bedo who went in mid lane. I think it's because they're planning to invade. Yeah, obviously it's a Lilia, it's a mm -hmm. Luoyi. You don't really want to be facing those mages at the start of the game. Exactly. But at the same time, you know, they are forcing out this buff here, but they don't really have retribution apart from the Bruno. And Lancelot was but able to take Lancelot the buff, but it. he's not going to be falling down. Ooh la la. Mm -hmm. That was, I feel like I think that was that was a lost cost for Bedel, but that's okay. Yeah, I feel like they lost too much there. They lost the two uh -oh, purple buffs Yumi's at the same time. Go down. Yikes! You know, mm. that is not how you want to to play the second game when you're one game behind because this is a fight for your tournament life. Mm -hmm. And if Bedel and loses this game, they're gone. Exactly. I think that Lilia was walking on the wrong side of the map. Yeah, we probably should have realized. See, you can clearly see. Yeah, I should probably should real realize that you know Uranus was already missing, was cutting not, lane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the damage coming from that Louis. That is the main reason why a lot of teams are really, really prioritizing securing that marksman now. But at the same time, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of punish for this Lilia here in the top lane because we all know Lilia is not even being picked anymore. Mm -hmm. She's been nerfed quite substantially. Hard. <laughs> really hard. <laughs> but Jawhead, unstoppable force, danger, might just kill out the Jawhead. Alien gonna be falling down and that is a Jikundo Shenpo bonus That's points from guy. Mr. Chow. <laughs> Exactly. I feel like there's a reason why he's called Danger now. Mm -hmm. I feel like he says, Oh, you think you're gonna kill me? No, you're in danger, boy. Not today. Not today. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's only been two minutes now, and there's already a 1k 
gold lead gold, coming gold, from gold, IG gold. here. And it's really looking pretty get grim for Bedell here, unfortunately, because I told you if they don't manage to to take advantage of your early game, they're gonna struggle. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, did you see that damage from Lu Yi on, on Uranus? That was really, 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 really high. Yeah, it was in intense, but at the same time, I feel like they're banking too much on those combo wombo burst damage. And it's kind of really, it's not that hard to execute, but you know, it's just, it just makes your team immobile. I feel like the meta has always been more on the mobile champions nowadays. Um, okay, let's see who's gonna get turtle. Okay, they have they reset it. Mm -hmm. But you know, at the same time, because they do have the Atlas, nobody has Purify. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, one amazing Fatal Links coming from Dre's here. It's gonna turn the tables mm -hmm. in a single bit because it's looking like it right now. Fatal Links unfortunately misses. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kaya's turn now. Sephora is gone. Oh, that is one. That is two. two. And that is a 4-0 in favor of Aichi. Now they can have turtle freely. What is happening to Bedell here? I feel like a lot of the Bedell fans are probably hugging their hearts right now because it seems like their team is in trouble right now they are really really behind 2000 gold lead in this early game i mean london joshi do you think it's possible for them to come back i mean i know it's so early to say that but the the momentum of the game the flaw of the game is really really going heavily in favor of ig here true um but then again it depends on the Depends, we'll see if... Uh, oh, I mean... Yeah, it is in their favor. Yeah. It's clearly on their favor. See? I'm gonna take... Okay, probably got it, but... Yeah, this, this is this is why you never give Lunox to Pedro, guys. You know, just... just <laughs> First big material, really? <laughs> But at the same time, it's not even about the Lunox now. I just really feel like it's about their composition. You know, it's really, really hard to pull off the composition that Bedell has when the enemy team has a Lancelot that's going to be diving you with a million dashes, not caring about your tank. Because think about it. Who's going to be protecting the backline heroes? Who's going to be protecting the Lilia? Who's going to be protecting the, the Louis, the Bruno? They have to protect so, themselves. True. But yeah, and battle is our battle are two turrets down as well. So. Uh oh. Oh that they, set, just that that's a combo wombo that they want to execute and finally they are able to execute it. Maybe they're saying, Don't count us gone yet, Prince. I'm gonna show you how to play this composition and win against Invictus Gaming. They are. Are they gonna contest the turtle? I don't know. Yeah, but it's gonna be so hard because look at that. So many dashes. Their HP is gone before they can even see who attacked them. Mm -hmm. But Lancelot fell. So now it Lunox has to come to the rescue. Oh, alien able to survive with one HP here, but I feel like the damage is slowly being done. I thought this game was going to be close, but it seems like IG is here to prove us strong. They're going to be saying IG is number one. Now that we're saying the mid lane, are they going to be able to do it? I think they can. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Look at the Lilia. Lilia in the top lane. I mean, she's just Silently. pushing. Yeah. But then, uh oh, here comes Lancelot. Oh, oh, finally, the sandwich. Lunox has been shut down. But at the top lane, Yumi is going to be falling down here also. So that is a one for one trade. But look at the kill differential now 13 kills mm -hmm. in favor to the side here of IG. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think is going on with Yumi in these in these matches? I feel like oh me see they do have the combo wombo. If it does work, it works so well. But if it doesn't work, they get punished really hard. And like what you were saying, I feel like Yumi is underperforming a lot nowadays with the with with her Lilia and her Chang U last game. Cause I feel like she was solo lane, right? And normally you want your solo lane to win those lanes. You want those lanes not to fall, but unfortunately it seems like she's not performing to her full potential this time. I agree. Cause she is quite well known as one of the 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 great mages here in the Europe region, right? True, I agree. Um, I've seen YouTube videos of her um, as you know, global Lunox as well. Yeah, but seems like the better mage now is Pedro here because look at that kill score five one three. Wow. I mean, do you do you think there's still a chance here for Bedell? Because that is a 5k gold differential. They're just diving everyone in the back because oh Sephora is a gunner! Mm -hmm. They're a gunner. The tank was not in that team fight. I mean look at the Lancelot. Look at the damage from this from the torn rose from the Phantom Execution. It's just a clean wipe out here from the side mm -hmm. of Austa. Oh, if only I could play Lancelot like that. <laughs> <laughs> we all wish we can, but we're Yeah. Fine. But it seems like IG is here to show us today how to play Mobile Legends fantastically because they're not giving any breathing room to Bedell. They're going to be losing this time. Oh, but this might be a turnaround that they're looking for because one by one, their HP is falling down. What? Bye bye, yeah, baby sis. That's no. two turns. Mm -hmm. uh, that's two inhibitors gone. This might be game over for Bedell. And we're very sorry for the Bedell fans here. You know, IG is just, you know, maybe they're having the time of their life right now. Mm -hmm. Is it really. It's only do you think sad. it's early? Go on. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad it's only a little sad bit. That, yeah, that Invictus are, you know, they had to disband. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you know, we all wish for the best. So we all know that these players, they just really want to explore more and you know hone their skills to as much as they can yeah and maybe even though they have to disband you know the synergy the game style the mm -hmm. the the technical knowledge and the abilities are still there because look at that it's not even a what do you call this a win it's a wreck they wreck mm -hmm. badel live And it's, and you know, it's really a convincing win coming here from Invictus Gaming. And this, you know, do you think they, they might give a challenge now to the reigning champions of MEC? Bloody Joshi! We'll see. We'll see. We'll really see. That would be a nice, a nice tournament, a nice game to watch. I do agree. I do agree. But now Lord is being taken by the Lancelot here. And... Yeah, la yikes. I mean, miracles do exist, right, Lodi Joshi? Mm -hmm. Do you think there's gonna be a miracle here? Maybe a five man Atlas Ult, um, a five man Luoyi, and Lilia Combo Bombo? We will have to see. We will really have to see. Um, but the Lord is also on its way. I mean, think about it. Only, only bye bye baby has purified. The rest are flicker. It's possible. Oh, Lord is marching down now. What can Bedell do? Oh, Atlas able to get two people in the back, but the combo wombo is just not enough. Just not enough much. damage. And one by one, Lancelot is annihilating and killing everyone. Shut down on Lancelot. That is two, three gone. Whoa! They defended. Oh no! The minions were too strong. Yeah, it's a winions, but that is a congratulations. Well played for the side here of Invictus Gaming. That was such a fantastic game coming from Aista here. That Lancelot and that 
playing wow, top notch. Congratulations to Invictus. Yeah, really, really amazing performance from their part, to be honest. And it's kind of sad that, you know, we're going to be saying goodbye to Bedell so early. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, Bedell is one of the best quads. And if they got annihilated, like, they got destroyed by IG. I'm really excited how strong this Invictus Gaming team is, you know? What I am curious about is uh, how to, as to how Pedro is feeling about this because he used to be in the Bedell family just like last MEC he was in the Bedell family, right? Yeah, and now he is on Invictus Gaming and gonna be on Rain. So, well played to both of the teams. This, this really shows us why, you know, regardless of whether or not Invictus Gaming disbanded, they are really one of the best teams in the Europe region. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a short little break for now. Uh, once again, I'm iPrince and I'm joined here by Lodi Joshi. Hi! Hi! Thanks for and watching, guys. Yeah, we're going to be back shortly for our game number two, which is going to be Unique Synergy versus Los Avax. So. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back real soon. See you for now. Yeah.